going to get real nice and black. What's going to happen when they hit it with some water? See some white you're going to see some white smoke, right. So you're going to be able to see when they're flowing. That rollover, that's what we're looking for, that precursor. Don't treat any fire as routine. When you do that and you get complacent, that's when you get hurt and killed. All right, let's go out, prep our helmets, get some vital signs, and fall in by your gear.
On road! That's quite up there. <laughs> configured right now with uh, two-door mechanical advantage with a rolling block in the way. in between the seam of the hood and the fender. Once I work it in there, I push it in, insert it all the way in, and then I'm going to rotate the tool and use the mechanical band to open up the hood. Take my hand back. This is about teamwork. You guys have to focus on working together. It's about heart, desire, desire to do this, the ability to get this hose line up here and put that fire out. That's what it's all about today. Okay? Yes, yes sir. sir. All right, very good. Up here. Three, four, three, three. One, two, three. Slow, 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 the wood that's in there. You're going to see the wood start to ignite. You see put off tongues of flames come out here because carbon oxide is going to start burning. You're looking at probably two to three hundred degrees in this area. You're looking at close to 1100 up in that area overhead. So that's why we're always going to stay low when we're inside the can here. That's why I said when you come in you crawl in, when you leave you crawl out. Overhead. First right. thing we do when we take that nozzle is make sure it's in a straight stream. Be ready for the instructors to the direction. Okay, we're gonna do it real quick into the overhead. Hit it left. Hit it right. Rotate. Hit center. Hit it right. 
10 minutes of fun, followed by hours of back-breaking, soot-eating, nasty cleanup work that you guys don't have to do because it's a burn building, like you would have to do if it was an acquired structure or the real fire. All right, we ready to do this? Yes, yes sir. sir. Are we ready to do this? Yes, yes sir. sir. Keep! 
Last 95. So the smoke. Righty tighty. Lucky Lucy. Howdy. Let's get it. Set smarter. Going on air. Fire's out. What air? Freedom. Clear the bank. Back up. Hard work. Let's do it. 95. Ah! Woo! Man. I got in, got really dark, and I thought it was just the atmosphere, the smoke, and everything. But of course, really hot. I actually uh, got to extinguish the fire, so I did the uh, combination attack. I was down straight uh, at the uh, the seat of the fire, extinguished it. Came down those stairs. That's when the heat hit us. It got so hot, we just bunkered up. We did it. Put that fire out. Saw nothing in my in my visor. It all fogged up. Kept moving, came downstairs, saw an instructor, he said, get on the nozzle. It was a little warm in there, but it was all fun. All fun, had a great time. It was going up towards the ceiling, the sparks were flying out towards us, and the instructors did a great job. They guided us through the whole entire thing. They made sure we were safe and working as a team, and fought some fire and crawled our way out. Ripping, it was hot, it was awesome. It was definitely my favorite part of class so far, going with my dad, it's an awesome experience. It was a once in a lifetime experience to be able to do this. I had a blast with my son. I couldn't appreciate it more. Thanks for letting me have the opportunity. We went in a blue hose line. We followed it all the way down to the uh, nozzle. We did some indirect attack, a little narrow fog. It was a lot of fun. Really hot in there. Really hot in there. Going in this first burn building with him, uh, with him by my side. Awesome day. He's made me really proud. He's done great. Big thanks, Palm Beach State College, all the instructors out here. Letting fathers come in with their kid means a lot to us. And uh, this is a memorable day. Won't forget it. Thanks.